गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स मैं राजेंद्र सिंह आपका स्वागत करता हूं अपने इस एजुकेशनल प्लेटफॉर्म में जैसा कि आप जानते हैं हमारी मैथमेटिक्स की यानी इंटरमीडिएट मैथमेटिकल मैथमेटिक्स फॉर इकोनॉमिक्स की लेक्चर सीरीज चल रही है जिसमें हम चैप्टर सेवनटीन करने जा रहे हैं और चैप्टर का नाम है मल्टी वेरिएबल ऑप्टिमाइजेशन तो लास्ट क्लास में हमने क्वेश्चन नंबर टेंथ किया था सेवनटीन पॉइंट वन सेक्शन का टुडे वी ट्राई टू सॉल्व द क्वेश्चन नंबर इलेवन राइट लेट एस ट्राई इट सभी इस स्टूडेंट से मेरी रिक्वेस्ट है कि कैलकुलेशन भी चेक करते रहिएगा क्योंकि हो सकता है कैलकुलेशन कोई गलती हो जाए राइट right? आप लोगों के सामने मैं कैलकुलेशन कर रहा हूँ ठीक है स्टूडेंट और कैलकुलेशन को बहुत ध्यान से ऑब्जर्व कीजिएगा और कभी भी कोई डाउट हो या कोई मिस्टेक लगे देन यू कैन ईमेल मी राइट तो स्टूडेंट यहां पे देखिए क्वेश्चन नंबर इलेवेंथ में आ, क्या क्वेश्चन है फाइंड द वैल्यू वैल्यूज ऑफ एक्स वाई एंड जेड दैट मैक्सिमाइज द फंक्शन x एक्स टू पावर ए प्लस वाई रेस्ट टू पावर ए प्लस जेड रेस्ट टू पावर ए सब्जेक्ट टू पी एक्स प्लस क्यू आई प्लस आर जेड इक्वल टू एम वेर द ए पी क्यू एंड आर आर पॉजिटिव कॉन्स्टेंट बट द वैल्यू ऑफ ए इज लेस देन वन राइट इन अदर वर्ड्स वी कैन से इन अदर वर्ड्स वी कैन से The value of a lies between zero and one, right? Right, student. Now, I have written the the question in this uh, in this uh, page. You can you can uh, see the question on your screen, right? So, चलिए करते हैं स्टूडेंट इसका सॉल्यूशन. रेस्टोरेंट तो सबसे पहले हमें जो फंक्शन गिवन है वो आपको दिख रहा होगा इट इज थ्री वेरिएबल फंक्शन दैट इज एक्स एस टू पावर ए प्लस वाई रेस्ट टू पावर ए प्लस जेड रेस्ट टू पावर ए बट यहाँ पे हमें एक कंडीशन भी दे रखी है स्टूडेंट राइट यू कैन सी हेयर वी हैव गिवन अ कंडीशन आल्सो बिकॉज ऑफ दैट बिकॉज देर इज ओनली वन कंडीशन बिकॉज ऑफ दैट we can convert this three variable equation three variable function into two variable function condition kya px plus qy plus rz equal to m this is the condition this is the constraint you can say right this is your constraint yani ye function is condition ko bhi satisfy karna chahiye right क्योंकि आपको जो फंक्शन के मैन में वो थ्री वेरिएबल्स है कंडीशन एक है तो इसका मतलब इस फंक्शन को थ्री माइनस वन दैट इज टू वेरिएबल में कन्वर्ट कर सकते हैं थ्री स्टैंड फोर थ्री वेरिएबल्स वन स्टैंड फोर वन कंडीशन राइट इसी तरह अगर इसमें दो कंडीशन गिवन होती तो हम थ्री माइनस टू यानी वन वेरिएबल में इसको कन्वर्ट कर सकते थे राइट तो वी ट्राई टू कन्वर्ट दिस फंक्शन इंटू टू वेरिएबल फंक्शन राइट हाउ हम क्या करेंगे स्टूडेंट हम फंक्शन को आ, मतलब फंक्शन को टू वेरिएबल से कन्वर्ट करने के लिए जेड की वैल्यू फाइंड कर लेंगे या फिर एक्स की वैल्यू फाइंड कर लेंगे या फिर वाई की वैल्यू फाइंड कर लेंगे किसी भी एक वेरिएबल्स को हमें रिमूव करना है राइट तो लेटेस्ट ट्राई टू डू इट तो यहाँ पे यहाँ पे जो कंडीशन की बने उसके अकॉर्डिंग तो जेड की वैल्यू निकल के आएगी स्टूडेंट वो आएगी जेड इक्वल टू एम माइनस पी एक्स माइनस क्यू वाई होल डिवाइडेड बाई आर राइट अब इस वैल्यू को हम फंक्शन में अगर पुट कर दें स्टूडेंट तो हमारे पास केवल दो वेरिएबल बचेंगे वी हैव लेफ्ट विद ओनली टू वेरिएबल दैट इज एक्स एंड वाई राइट तो वट आई गेट आई गेट फंक्शन एज एक्स कॉमा वाई कॉमा 
uh, jet as a function of because x or y we have written, right? So that is, oh wait, oh, yeah. this is x raised to power a plus y raised to power a plus z raised to power a, right? So here we are student x raised to power a plus y raised to power a plus z. In place of z, I can write m minus px minus py divided by r raised whole raised to power a, right? So that means the whole function converted into two variable function that is x comma y equal to x raised to power a plus y raised to power a plus I can write m minus px minus uy divided by r raised to power a, right? Now, because we have to maximize this function, right? And the necessary condition for maximizing the function is that uh, each of the partial, uh, each of the partial derivative with respect to, uh, I can say that if we, uh, we, I can say that partial derivatives with respect to each of the independent variables should be equal to zero. It means uh, the necessary condition. You can say first order condition. What is the first order condition? The first order condition is that. The partial derivative with respect to x, also partial derivative with respect to y, they should be equal to zero. This is the necessary condition, right? Job ne seventeen point one section me the theorem padhis any theorem seventeen point one, right? Ye jitne bhi independent variables hain, unki respect me jo derivative hoga, that should be equal to zero. Ye zero hona zaroori hai, right? So क्योंकि हमें फंक्शन को मैक्सिमाइज गिवन है तो ये कंडीशन नेसेसरी कंडीशन होनी चाहिए राइट right? तो सबसे पहले हम क्या करेंगे ये जो फंक्शन है ये हमने जो लेट इट बी इक्वेशन नंबर 2 या 3 राइट right? तो इसको विद रिस्पेक्ट टू x यानी इक्वेशन नंबर 3 में जो फंक्शन आपको गिवन है उसको हम विद रिस्पेक्ट टू x डिफरेंशिएट करेंगे राइट एंड इक्वेट इट टू द 0 राइट सो व्हाट आई गेट आई गेट आई गेट del f by del x or you can write f dash x of x comma y is equal to a x raised to power a minus 1 keeping y as a constant. So, if y is a constant, then y is a derivative of the constant, 0 will be 0. And here, the third term is, what is the derivative of the constant? I know that you know the basic derivatives, right? So I can write like this raised to power a minus one. Then minus p of p by r, right? So after simplifying it, I get uh, a x raised to power a minus one plus plus, uh, I can write plus but minus because y minus y minus because uh, this plus a into minus p by r is minus, right? So minus a p by r then then m minus px minus uy raised to power a minus 1 divided by r, right? That is, I can write it ax raised to power a minus 1 minus ap divided by r raised to power a into m minus px minus uy, right? Now, because this partial derivative should be zero, right? This partial derivative should be zero. That means this let it be equal to zero, right? So what I get now? 
So now I get because we can take a, a as a common, right? So this is a x raised to power a minus one minus p by r raised to power a m minus px minus uy equal to zero, right? So after simplifying it, I get x raised to power a minus one equal to p into m minus px minus qy whole divided by r raised to power a. Right, student? Now, now we try to get the value of x, okay? So, how? so this can be an instrument uh, r raised to power a, x raised to power a minus 1 is equal to pm minus uh, something is wrong, I think. Uh, Check it. Yes, there is a power, right? There is a power a raised to power and um, a minus one, right? So this is also your. Uh, a minus one. Please correct it. Please correct it. This is your raised to power a minus one, right? And bracket close equal to zero. This is your uh, raised to power a minus one, right? Now, student, we try to get the value of uh, any variables that is x and y. We try to uh, we try to eliminate one variable that is x, either x or y, right? So now, before doing anything. We differentiate the given function f with respect to y. And if we solve this in the same way we did for x, right? We get similar type of equation like this. Okay. First, let it be equation number four. Okay. Then after differentiating the given function with respect to y, we get the similar type of equation that is y raised to power a minus 1 equal to q by r raised to power a into m minus px minus qy raised to power a minus 1, right? Now, divide equation number 4 by the equation number 5, right? What I get? You can check that because this value in equation number 4, that is m minus px minus qy raised to power a minus 1, and this is the same given in the equation number 5, right? They will cancel out, right? So after dividing equation 4 with the equation number 5, I will get x raised to power a minus 1 upon y raised to power a minus 1 equal to this r raised to power a is cancelled with the r raised to power a, we get p by q, right? So this implies x raised to power a minus 1 equal to p into y raised to power a minus 1 divided by q. Okay, student. Now let uh, now let this equation as equation number six. Okay. 
Now with, with the help of equation number four and equation number six, we can eliminate the variable x. Okay, student, see how? Put the value of x from the equation number six into the equation number four, right? What I get? I get, see here, x raised to power a minus one and its value is p by q, y raised to power a minus one, okay? We get p by q into y raised to power a minus one equal to equal to that is your p by p by r raised to power a p by r raised to power a bracket m minus p x right what is the meaning of x here x means p by Q raised to power one by a minus one, right, into y. Okay, student. Then minus q y. Then minus q y. Like it close raised to power a minus one. Okay. Now, how we try to solve it, right? Here we see in this equation, the there is only one variable that is y, okay? And now we can get the value of y easily. See, now we take the, uh, we take the a minus one, a minus one root. Both sides. But again, okay, before taking the a minus one root, we can see that here p is cancelled with this p. Okay. That means this equation can be written as uh, y raised to power a minus one into q by r raised to power a into m minus p raised to power c. After simplifying this value, that is p raised to power 1 plus 1 by a minus 1. What I get? I get p a minus 1 plus 1 divided by a minus 1. So this n one is cancelled with this one. So I get a by a minus 1. Right, student? Uh, into that means. Uh, divided by q raised to power one by a minus one into y minus q y whole raised to power a minus one, right? Now, taking the a minus one root both sides, what I get? I get y equal to q raised to power one by a minus one upon r raised to power a upon a minus one into m minus p a by a minus one divided by q raised to power one by a minus one into y minus q y. Ready, student? Now, y equal to now it becomes y equal to uh, m q raised to power 1 by a minus 1 then minus p raised to power a by a minus 1 minus q raised to power a by a minus 1 into y right and this can we take another side or we can write here also 1 by r is to power a by a minus 1. Right, straight. So by taking this r is to power a by a minus 1 to another side, we get we get r is to power a by a minus 1 into y equal to m into q raised to power 1 by a minus 1 
minus p raised to power a by a minus one, then minus then minus q raised to power a by a minus one into y by displacement. Now, because we have to find the value of y, so we take the terms. We take the like terms one side and the constant term to the other side, right? I mean to say that we take terms in which y involved, we, we take it into left hand side and the constant to the right hand side. So, we, what I get? I get because these two terms has a y coefficient, right? So, we take them into the left hand side and taking the y common, we get r is to power a upon a minus 1 plus q raised to power a upon a minus 1 into y is equal to wait okay student there is a mistake here also y because this is y right so there is a y so there's a y, okay? Y. So this one is for us, dhyan rakhe ga, aplog bhi, calculation mistake kisi se bhi ho sakti hai, because it is very complicated calculations. Ab, lekin the logic, jo concept hai, usme koi galti nahi hoogi, right? Or kabhi bhi aapko koi galti mehsus ho, so you can email me, right? So now, because this term also involve y, this term also involve y, and this term is also involve y, right? Take them to the left hand side and taking the y common, what I get? I get p raised to power a by a minus 1 plus q raised to power a upon a minus 1 plus r raised to power a upon a minus 1 into y is equal to m into q raised to power 1 by a minus 1, right? Now, it is very easy to get the value of y and the value of y is y equal to m into q 1 by a minus 1 divided by p raised to power a upon a minus 1 plus q raised to power a upon a minus 1 plus r raised to power a upon a minus 1. So, this is your answer. Um, I mean to say this is the value of y. Okay. Similarly, by putting the value of y, by putting the value of y in the equation number 6, right? By putting the value of y into the equation number 6. Right, we get the value of x. See how? Right. So this is your equation number fourth, right? Now put the value of y into this equation. Into this equation. What I get? I get x raised to power a minus one is equal to p by q into y. Y means m into q raised to power, I think uh, it is. 1 by this 1 by a minus 1 divided by p raised to power a by a minus 1 plus q raised to power a by a minus 1 plus r raised to power a upon a minus 1. 
whole raised power a minus one, right? Now, this implies x will be equal to p raised to power p by q whole raised to power one by a minus one into m q raised to power one by a minus one divided by p raised to power a by a minus one plus u raised to power a by a minus one plus r raised to power a by a minus one. That is right. Now try to simplify simplify it. I get x equal to C. This can be done as p raised to power 1 by a minus 1 divided by q raised to power 1 by a minus 1, right? Is mean into m into q raised to power 1 by a minus 1 divided by p raised to power a by a minus 1 plus q raised to power a by a minus 1 plus r raised to power a by a minus 1, right? Now, this with s with this, right? The same terms will cancel out. So, I get the value of x as x equal to m p raised to power 1 by a minus 1 whole divided by p raised to power a by a minus 1 plus q raised to power a by a minus 1 plus r raised to power a by a minus 1. Okay. So in this way, we are able to get the value of x and y. Now, uh, so let uh, this as equation number seven, I think, okay? And uh, this as the equation number eight, right? Now we have to find the value of z. Now we will take the help of the condition given that. What is the condition given? That is the condition given is px plus qy plus rz equal to m, right? Putting the value of x and y, right? Putting the value of x and y from seventh equation and the eighth equation, right? I mean to say, this is the value of y. You can see the equation number seventh. This is the value of y. And this is the value of x, okay? This is the value of eighth. By putting this value in this equation, in this condition, we get the value of z as it's when you have to do it yourself, right? You have to find the value of z yourself. In the same way, we get the value of z as so by looking the values of x and y, you can also guess what can be the value of z, okay? So what can be the value of z? Observe the value of x carefully, okay? And the value of y also. What is the value of y? The value of y is, y is equal to, I think, uh, what is the question? Yes, m, yes. That is m q raised to power one by a minus one divided by p raised to power a upon a minus one plus q raised to power a upon a minus 1 plus r raised to power a upon a minus 1, right? So by looking the value of x and y and using the condition, this condition, you can get the value of z. And also you can guess the answer, the value of z, right? How can you guess the value of z? See, here the value of x, here the value of y. 
So let the value, uh, we can observe that z equal to, here the value, the constant of m is, m is m is there now with the values of x and y. So here must be m. Then in the case of x, there is a p. In the case of y, there is q. Okay. So in the case of z, it should be r. That is r raised to power a upon a minus 1. And you can check that in the case, uh, in the value of x and y, the denominator is same. The denominator is same. Right. So in the case of z, the same denominator will come here. That is p raised to power a upon a minus 1 plus q raised to power a upon a minus 1 plus r raised to power a upon a minus 1. So these are the three values. These are the values of the variables x and y and z. Right. So this is all about the solution of Question number 11th of section 17.1. Student, I think you understood this question, right? So this is all about the section 17.1. I think we have done all the questions and some of the questions left because, because some of the question you have to do yourself, okay? We have done both the harder, harder problems, that is question number 10th and 11th, right? In the next class, I will teach you about the, I will teach you the topic 17.2, that is the definition of maximum minima, right? And its uh, topology and some important definition, right? So see you in the next class. Thank you very much.